that everyone is running through. It's one major venue, no second. Reconciliation with the Creator. Reconciliation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Calm down, all the believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All who all believe, calm down. Connect your heart to Allah. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did make the reconciliation will be the key of everything. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in the Quran. Before getting into the steps, I want to make sure that everyone is on the same venue. Calm down. Stop listening to whatever the, the, the news is. We have already realized, some will talk about science, some will talk about conspiracies. Is it China against US? Is it US against China? Is both of them against the whole world? Is it that? Is it that? And by the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did make it clear. And no one will be other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's reasons for bringing whatever Allah, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destined to happen. Calm down. Calm down. It's getting so serious to the extent we have become as believers with the great faith that we have. With the tranquility that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending to the hearts of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have become, because of the too many issues coming right and left without putting the things into perspective, it has become a real mess. And we don't know exactly what to do. Calm down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that simple. مَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَأَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ Whomever fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah, anyone, any human being out of the 2.6 billion human being Whomever fears Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find him an exit, a solution from whoever he will never think of and it takes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only be, and it will be. إِنَّمَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا أَرَادَ شَيْئًا أَنْ يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُولْ It doesn't take from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala other than one instruction as he made it to come, it's another instruction to make it to go. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ Whomever is entrusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Brothers and sisters who have the conviction in Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enough to handle whatever will be running through. The situation has become of, of, of that much to the extent that believers doesn't even don't feel the, the sweetness of their prayer. They don't feel the sweetness of, of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and I'm gonna leave some of those very touchy words. الطرائق إلى الخالق بعدد أنفاس الخلائق you might, you might need to knock the door of a king or a, or a prime minister or a president. And many times you might have the door closed. But the door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never be closed. And as Ibn al-Qayyim did say, the doors to Allah it's with the same number of the breath of how much each one of every human being is breathing. The only question that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did mention in the Quran without a mediator, every question that Allah brings in the Quran to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah has indicated after the question, فَقُلْ وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ النِّسَاء وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الشَّهْرِ الْحَرَامِ وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْمَحِيدِ They will ask you about the woman. They will ask you about the holy month. They will ask you about the, 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 the situation of the woman. And so on so forth. And in every situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing the word or the verb فَقُلْ Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's messenger in teaching the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the whole humanity, the deen of Allah. Except one question. 
which should be enough for today, brothers and sisters, to, to put things into perspective. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي If my servants will be asking you about me, Allah didn't say فَقُلْ Allah did not indicate that even Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam will be a mediator. Because Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam one day will be passing away and he passed away. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّكَ مَيِّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ You will die and they will die. As Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, did make it in his very famous statement after the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who will be running through too many things. مَنْ كَانَ يَعْبُدُ مُحَمَّدًا فَإِنَّ مُحَمَّدًا قَدْ مَاتْ وَمَنْ كَانَ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ حَيُّ لَا يَمُوتْ Whomever is worshipping Muhammad, Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam has passed on. And whomever is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will never die, will never sleep, will never disappear because he is the first and he is the last subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla wa ala. Brothers and sisters, there is, there is no mediator. It doesn't need between Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a real contemplation on, in a sajda that can change your whole life from good to bad or bad to good, from one status to another. كُلَّ يَوْمٍ هُوَ فِي شَأْنٍ Every day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his. Before moving on, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continuing, we want to make sure that, this, that, that that particular session will be as interactive as possible. When we are thinking about practical steps, we will come very soon during the session and I'm going to ask each one of you to give me the, what you think about practical steps that can be a way to reconcile with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm sure I have about 20, 22 triggers or tips, and they can be 222. And we can have too many sessions and have them reconciliation or reconciling dash one, reconciling dash 10. And I can tell you this, your journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is called the journey of the reconciliation with Allah till we pass away and we have made it reconciliated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of us among those who are going to calm their hearts down, connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reconciliating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so we'll be able to leave this dunya or continue in this dunya, as we said before. We want to be the best human being if we still have a time to live. And we want to make sure that we are ready to face and meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at any moment and be amongst those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to teach us about man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allah hu liqa ahum ever loves to meet with Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to meet with him and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to be amongst those whom the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did say about them and whomever hates wal iyadu billah to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well hates to meet with him. Zakallah khaya and Shah Hassam. So I see there's uh, quite a few more people who joined. Inshallah, let's try to get everyone energetic here. So uh, let's try to use the chat feature that we have. Maybe if you can uh, type in the state that you're uh, calling in or dialing in from, Inshallah. I think there are a few people maybe from outside of the area. So if you can just uh, uh, jot down in the chat the two letters of your state, MD, VA, or wherever you uh, are calling in from tonight. We got a couple of people from Maryland. Jazakumullah khairan. Florida, Allahu Akbar. Nice to have you with us, brother. Some more Maryland people, alhamdulillah. All right, if you can also let us know uh, how old you are or if you're a young person, you know, under 18 or if you are a wise adult, inshallah. We'd just like to know who, uh, who the people are so we can uh, fine tune the message, inshallah, a little bit. Alhamdulillah, there's a 20 year old. All right, keep those numbers coming in. All right, and as you're doing that, if you have any questions so far for uh, Sheikh Islam, you can uh, jot them down, inshallah. We got some uh, 35, 50, 17. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. May Allah give everyone the strength and a long, uh, happy, fruitful life, inshallah, blessed life. All right, so uh, back to you, Sheikh Islam, inshallah, if you can uh, give us some of those uh, tips for how to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and leverage these types of uh, tests that we're going through, inshallah, to, to be on the right path. Inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before we start with them as a trigger and a, and a tip 
which you, I'm going to ask each one of the adults and the youth, inshallah, to write down so you can make sure it will be like a slogan in, in each of our lives. Two things I want to I wanna leave as a, as a prerequisite. Two, one of them, there is nothing worse than the internal defeat. And I, and I understand that the youth might, might be fully aware of, of that particular meaning. There is nothing worse than al hazima min al Anything exterior weak, it's, it's, you will realize that it's so easy to deal with. And sometimes you realize that whatever you feel inside, it's too big and too much. And it's really serious. The worst thing that a human being or a believer might encounter is to be defeated from inside. It means you have given the heart to be controlled by other than the one who has the real control and calm perspective and instruction to. Second, using the same particular word to make it easy. When Umar ibn Abdul Aziz has become the Khalifa, using the same particular word of reconciliation. And during his time, we know that he is, he is called, our title, he's not the fifth Khalifa, but they used to call him Khamis al Khulafa al Rashidin because of the way that he, his two years and, and how it used to be very just as close as possible to his grandfather, Umar ibn al Khattab, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with, with both of them. During his time, the way that Sharia has been applied and the deen has been into the right perspective. It has come to a point that the, the human being, people, believers and others used to see the wolf playing with goats, which was not the norm. Norms is just like wolf is attacking goats. A lion is attacking goats. That's the, that's the typical nature. So they have seen the wolf playing with goats, sheep. And they came to Umar ibn Abdul Aziz asking him, is what we have been trying to achieve, guys. Corona is nothing. Wallahi, nothing. Wallahi, nothing. And it is a thing. It's nothing when we compare our, to our conviction in Allah. And it's something we need to understand the wisdom behind it so we can get it into the right perspective. And they asked Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, what is the, what is the situation? Wolves are playing with, with, with goats. Is it a miracle? Like the miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to send to, to, to prophets. And he made it in one statement. He made it in one statement. أَصْلَحْتُمْ مَا بَيْنَكُمْ وَمَا بَيْنَ اللَّهِ فَأَصْلَحَ اللَّهُ مَا بَيْنَ الذِّئْبَ وَالْغَنَمْ You have reconciliated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have implemented the deen the way it should. You have been trying to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way it should. You have been trying to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your dunya issues and making sure that your dunya is going very perfect. But to the sake of Allah, you did it right. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reconciliated between the heart of the wolf and the heart of the goat. You know what? The guys in the west of Africa, one day when Umar ibn Abdul Aziz has, been, has died in Medina, they have made that statement, no communication, no Nextel, no text messages, no YouTube, no Zoom, no technology. You can imagine somebody in Senegal from the brothers and sisters, and one day they, they came out of their houses, and in one voice they said, اليوم مات عمر بن عبد العزيز. You know how they said it? When they came out of their houses and they found again the wolf is attacking the goat. When we disturb the system, when we disturb the connection, the balance in our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have realized the day of the death of Umar ibn Abd al-Aziz from the situation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought to the activities in their life. Step number one, and I need to, 
make sure that everyone is trying to pick up that particular subject. Brothers and sisters, since we have started to hear about Corona and getting into the subject that either deep or slightly or getting information about situation on different countries, number of death and number of injured or number of, of cases and how it will go. Some are saying, oh, like be optimistic and oh, no, 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 let's just, let's be like just re reasonable and, 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 and realistic. What, what is the issue? Just like this kind of uncertainty as believers from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I want and I to, to make sure because we might spend the halaqa today's session and it might be one or two tips and we're going to go and practice them and keep adding more and more till the agenda will be the same from the syllabus of the teaching of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make you a successful person in this dunya if we'll be a part of this dunya. And it will make us a successful human being at the time of facing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and meeting with him. How's your prayer? Uh, just, if you will tell me, and, I, and I'm gonna raise that flat, if you will tell me from that day's situation have become that serious and we started to get into the, the panicking situation, and if, you are, if our prayer is gonna be the same before and after, something is wrong. If we have not come to understand that the major connection between us and Allah, and we have to raise the value of it, making the pivot of everything related to our life because we understand the importance of the prayer. In addition to being patient, you need to perform and establish the prayer. What the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has made it as a major part of his sunnah. Guys, when, when the whole humanity or the believers are in need for, for rain, they pray. When you are in need, when there is a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, lunar or sooner or solar eclipse, we pray Salatul Khusuf or Al Kusuf for every sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending. The Prophet alayhi salatu has made it as a part of major part of his teaching. Kana idha hammahu amr Whenever he has a concern, something is, is getting as a, as, a, as, a, as, a major, as a major concern to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gets into the, the dialogue between him and the Creator, as he did teach this Ummah. Whomever, whomever want to talk to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Allah Subhanahu you can, you, when you want to talk to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, get into the Salah. And whenever you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to talk to you, which will come to it, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How is the salah? Have we felt, and, and I need some interaction either, either through voice, which can, I'm, I'm not sure how Brother Ayman would moderate it, or write down, and is the prayer the same? And I can tell you from today, if the prayer is the same, something is wrong. If you feel in your prostration the same way before and after, there is something. If you don't feel the meaning of you, you wanna really humiliate yourself and, and, and get into the depth of asking Allah, you wanna have yourself into the prayer. And if you are not in the feeling yet, and inshallah we will we'll be trying to work it out together as a training camp to get into this, that you don't want the imam to finish. You don't want to finish your prayer because you don't, you don't want to leave the companionship between you and the creator. You want to explain to him all of your concerns with the language you like. It's better to be from the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the same meaning in any other language if you cannot make it in the exact literal wording of the Arabic language that we have been receiving from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If we are not getting into that part, that the prayer, whenever we have an issue, we, we rush into the prayer. We rush. 
into talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in anything about anything as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to teach this ummah regardless of the subject that you think oh I'm going to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about something little talk to Allah about anything Allah is waiting for you saying I am close you don't need a mediator you don't need a barrier all what you need فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا لي لعلهم يرشدون show me that you are responding to my commands show me that you are on the way to accept the teaching in the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it's a journey it's gonna take us a step after a step whenever you have whenever you need that a promotion whenever you need an issue from either your father or your boss or your mom it's you try to do something extra because you feel that you are dealing with the one who can can make a decision or be a decision maker and the, in reality the the actual decision maker or the controller is the creator who has in his hand the whole treasures of earths and heavens so brothers and sisters if you are practical step number one and it will take us later on i can have it number 100 our prayer need to be into the text of the situation that we are running through into the text of of real meaning of Ya ayyuha nasu antum al ila Allah. O oh, the human being, you are in need for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu huwa al ghaniyyul hameed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs no one. We are really in need for Allah to protect yourself, to protect your job, or to find another one, or to calm your heart, or to remove your anxiety, or to be able to pass away in, in a, in a, and, and your tongue is soft with La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasul. Since we had the faith that nothing is going to change. وَإِيَمْسَسْكَ اللَّهُ بِضُرٍ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ إِلَّهُ Isn't it not enough a, a major antibiotic? Whenever you are infected, tested by Allah, no one will release it but him. وَإِيَمْسَسْكَ بِخَيْرٍ and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will will to bring you whatever is considered good, فَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can, can do anything. Your prayer, your prayer, your prayer. Just, I need you now to think for 10, 15 seconds. Has my prayer changed a bit? I, I need to read more. I need to stay longer talking to Allah. And the step after this, before we used to take lightly the nawafil, the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in terms of the prayer. There are nawafil in, in prayer and others. But for the prayer itself, do you feel that I want to I wanna make sure that, that I need more? I, I want to pray the sunnah. I want to get back to connect with Allah. I'm going to do my study and I'm, inshallah, I'm, I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the support in my study. We want to make sure, brothers and sisters, you will be a successful student, lawyer, physician, engineer, manager, president, minister. But with fearing Allah, whatever we have been missing from the salah, have we started after this situation that we hear about the death right and left? How many in Italy, how many in Spain, how many in the U.S. expected to be the, the worst spot in the whole globe for the whole globe about that pandemic? Do we really understand that we, we might be questioned before Allah about every prayer we were supposed to be accountable for? Have you started to bring a salah, one of the steps into the same subject as a brother or a sister? With every salah that you can make it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing and favor in the jama'ah at home or with a group with your family members, with your wife, with your daughter, with your son, with your brother. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with every salah try to bring another one because you feel that maybe at any time I'm going to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at a time that will never change. 
whatever I am doing as the best of taking the means, the time for meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to change. As we will come to inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another trigger, am I ready for? The salah will be a major pivot and scale for your steps of reconciliating or reconciling with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As per the teaching of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one of his last advices in his blessed life. As-salah, as-salah. And we are saying it the same way. The only way Corona will be burden wa salaman, will be cool and safe, regardless of the definition of coolness and safety. On the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as Allah did make the fire cool and safe on Ibrahim alayhi salam, is to do exactly what we learn it from Ibrahim alayhi salam and what we learn it from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, reconnecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, connection number one that will never change in the sequence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sorted in the book of Allah. وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ وَآتُ الزَّكَاةِ أول ما يحاسب المرء يوم القيامة على صلاته The first thing that will be held accountable for before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the salah that we need to get to the point as the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam did teach his companions about and listen to this arihna biha ya Bilal Bilal make the adhan so we can get the real comfort from any 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 concern that we face in our life through the prayer through standing before the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala filing our complaint to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alladhi ya'lamu sirra wa akhfa he knows the secret and what's more secret than the secret before you as a brother or a sister before you think in the secret before you think of it Allah knows it so why you should worry about anything calm down and be amongst those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them illa al-musalleen hadha wallahu ta'ala a'lam Jazakumullah khairan, mashallah. Uh, beautiful reminder about the story of the wolves and the goats during the times of um, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. And it, it reminds us that when we do the right thing, things just fall in the right location and spot by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So um, the way we can, we can see this pandemic as uh, a boot camp training for us, we're kind of locked up in our homes. Um, to give us an opportunity to, to rethink our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as uh, Shaykh Hassan mentioned, the, the best connection with Allah is through the prayer. Um, are we seeing it as a comfort for us, as, a, as a, um, a resort from the difficulties of life and as you know, an ease for us, as the Prophet ﷺ would refer to it as the coolness of, of, their, uh, of his eyes or the companions? So uh, with that, we can uh, open the lines for questions, inshallah. So if you have a question, you can either raise your hand or you can unmute yourself and uh, go ahead and, uh, and speak, or you can put it in the chat box. Can anyone just to, from the brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm, I'm still getting into the same question do you feel the prayer the same i need you guys to interact with me so you can i need you to be my doctor so i can at another time i'll be your doctor do you really do you really feel a difference or still oh alhamdulillah i'm praying with my dad and just but you know you know what it's just like it's the same is it really the same is it really the same when you have a home that has a fire is it really the same when you have a volcano that's few few foot away from your home? Is it really the same when, when a family will have a calamity that all most of the family members are lost in a car accident? Is it really the same when you are stuck in a corner when you, when you lose a job or you are terminated or you are receiving a notification of this and that? That... The shaitan will take your heart to think of about, about a whole list of negatives that he will only let you look at the empty part of the cup. 
he will only let you look at the darkness of the night as a sign of being pessimistic, dark, black color. But at the same time, the believers did learn from the Prophet wasallam through their prayer to understand that the darkness of the night will be followed by the best start of Fajr, of the sunrise. You can look at the same darkness and take it in a completely different perspective. You can stay in the same home. You can be the same two guys in the same aircraft. You can be the same two guys in the same car. You can be the same brother and sister in the same home. You can be the same husband and wife. You can be the same father and mother. But each one is perceiving the whole subject, is perceiving the whole subject in a completely different direction. It's perceiving the whole subject as a, as a, as a, different, as a different scale. It's perceiving the whole subject using his own heart. The sensor will be the heart, will be your same nafs, as I said. The optimum win, when your nafs will win. And the, the worst failure, when your nafs will fail. When your nafs will be defeated. Are you feeling the prayer the same way? Have you really thought about the prayer that you have been missing in a way or another? either because of shortcoming, which is okay. You know why it's okay? Because you are still alive. And the door of Tawbah has not been closed yet. And the sun has not come from the West. It's still okay because today you repent, you de de reconnect with Allah and start making up to the best of your ability. Even if you don't know the number. You may not count it. You may not be able to record the number, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has it. مَالِ هَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً إِلَّا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا There is nothing will be missing from your book before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَحْصَاهُ اللَّهُ وَنَسُوهُ You forgot how, how many you, you missed, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did record. Just by the intention to start making, making it up, and you pass away before even, before even completing the number that you even don't know. Because of your intention, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it as you did it in full. إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِنِيَّةِ Your deeds will be based on your intention. You started the track. You started driving the car. As the, as the brother who left the land before even reaching the other land after killing a hundred. And we have the story ended with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted his jannah because of his intention and starting the path, the journey, of the righteous deed, although he has not reached the other side of the righteous land yet. Do you really feel your prayer is the same before and after? If so we have a couple of uh, questions that came in here, uh, and they're kind of close. The first one from uh, an elder sister, she's asking, or she's saying, uh, sometimes I feel a difference, but it's not consistent. And there's another brother, uh, he's saying, how do we overcome the challenge of trying to reconcile with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we're unable to? There's something pulling us back. We don't have enough stamina to do it. Jazakallah kulli khair. I think last, last week we have discussed exactly. It's a, it, it will be a battle between you and, and it's you, each one of the kids, mashallah, each one of the youth are expert. He, he, wanna, he wanna be expert in PayPal, he gets expert in PayPal. He, he takes the means. The, the challenge that you cannot, it's just you cannot do whatever is needed to be able to reconcile. And I need you to understand, as we said last time, it doesn't mean that you started to reconcile and you fall, you fell back. It means you, 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 you failed, that's not true. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to keep this battle always continuous, ups and downs. Al-Iman wa yazid wa yankus. Faith, strength of Iman will go up and will go down. Yazid wa ta'at wa yankus bil ma'as. Here are the means. Always the heart will be charged through obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And always the heart will lose a charge through disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you leave it with neither nor, it will lose that charge by itself till you will be in a situation that you have no arms, no tools, and you feel, why I'm not 
able to reconcile, which is not the case. You have stopped eating, feeding the heart with the main resources needed to reconcile. That's the whole thing. And you start feeding the heart, you start the tools and the means of the reconciliation. You want to be an engineer, you join the faculty of engineering. You want to be an, a, a, an accountant, you find the, the, the faculty of accounting or the faculty of commerce. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has made it very clear. Obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Get back to Allah. وَإِنْ عُدْتُمْ عُدْنَا You return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is returning, returning the whole success back to you. You are hungry, you eat. You feel a deficiency in the strength, just increase that, just give a jump. How I can give a jump? Prayer. Talking to Allah. Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen your heart. Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you as consistent as possible on the reconciliation. And I'm repeating this again. Shaitan might come and play the game. Let you feel that when you fall back after you were good, Oh, alhamdulillah, I had my hijab in the proper way. And, and later on, Iman has gone less. And, and, and I started to, to be not as properly as needed. Oh, I used to pray, but now I'm, I'm feeling I'm missing the prayer. Why? It seems I'm hypocrite. It seems I'm falling. It seems I'm failing. It seems I'm bad. Then he puts you in the corner and he won, which is not the case. The Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, did teach this ummah. There is no one is sinless except the Prophet. You are going to get to the track. You are going to start the journey. You have enough power. You have enough strength. You have enough charge. You will be able to go for a few miles. You skipped. Iman will get less. You, you had a, a little of shortcoming. You start running out of power. What do you do? When you run, run out, of, out of battery, when you run out of charge, you give a jump. You change your battery. Exactly in our deen, the same way. Feed the heart with the, with the food that will make it always in the track. Falling down and getting up is a part of the journey. And it means, as we said in the, in the previous session, and you can go back to the record of it. it. It means that you have something that the shaitan can, can get out of. It means that you, you have the good seed. It means it's a battle, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in the Quran. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا The nafs that has been given the two. One day they can, they can feel the sweetness of the ibadah acting the, the, the act of worship tomorrow. I don't feel it the same way. Why? It seems I'm, I'm, I, I'm not able to reconcile. That's not true. You are absolutely on the track of the reconciliation. You fall down, you stand up and move on. You fall down, you stand up and move. And with every falling down and stand up, you know what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the wickedness of the falling down, Allah will take all the wickedness of falling down when you get up and replace it with the same number of hasanat, of verses in your book that you will see before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Day of Judgment. It's a, it's a karran far. It's a heart. You know why, why it's called qalb? It has been called, it's, it's, it's coming from the root of flipping. It's coming upside down. Today I'm feeling good. Why at night I feel anxiety? Why I'm, I'm, I'm waking up with anxiety, but I can go to my bed with, because you started to do something. You started to eat. I was hungry, then I have filled my stomach. I was thirsty, so I did drink. The same way as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ta'ahadu. Make sure that you are going through the consistency. Are you going to fall down? Yes. Is your eyes going to look at haram one day? Yes. You might do something wrong? Yes. Should we stand up? Yes. Should we get back to the track? Yes. Are we rewarded? Yes. Are we, are, are we on the right path? Yes. Falling in the trap, it does not mean I am unable. It means it is a part of the requirements of that path. You will do mistakes, come back to Allah, do mistakes, coming back to Allah, till Allah at certain point will see the real sincerity in the heart 
and Allah would say in his malakut, in his creation, all my angels be my witness that this servant has been struggled up and down. I have accepted his repentance and he is one of the people of Jannah. Jazakallah khairan. There's another question here from uh, another elder person. When you say talk to Allah, do you mean just having a conversation as you would have a conversation with a friend, you know, a person? Or are you talking about the formal salah that we perform? Jazakallah kulli khair. There is nothing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the way to talk to him. The ad'iyah, the supplications, the dua that Allah subhanahu wa When you say, Ya Rabb, what, what we say, we, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the refuge in him from resembling or simulating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in anything. Whatever you feel you, you might think of, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is completely different of. Nothing is similar to him because he's the all-seeing, the all-hearer. What we mean by talk to Allah, we mean to talk to Allah, is similar to him because he's the all-seeing, the all-hearer. What we mean by talk to Allah, release your problem in your prayer. Talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we learn it from his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We do nothing out of the acts of worship, but what we learn it from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Releasing your complaint means, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, release my problem. Ya Allah, in your dua, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about, Ya Allah, I feel an anxiety. I ask Ya Allah with your great names and your great attributes, release it. Ya Allah, guide me to the right path. That is, that is the meaning of, I'm trying to make it easy. Sometimes when we get, the, the translation, it, we want to make sure it's into the perspective. We cannot talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through other than the ways of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Through the supplication, through the ad'iyah. What I'm saying is sometimes you don't know the same, or you are not eloquent in the Arabic language. So you can make it the same with, the, with, the, uh, with other languages, that's still okay. With the same etiquette and sunnah and traditions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We cannot call Allah with names that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did, did not call himself or name himself for, for, or in a way that's not the way that we learned from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions and the righteous ancestors. Zakallah khair. And I want to uh, point attention to the point you made about calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his attributes. Um, when we ask something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's always best to ask him with the attribute that has a relationship to what you're asking for. So if someone yes. is not feeling good, you want to ask uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the healer, you know, the one who cures the disease. If you, someone is looking for provisions or wealth, we ask uh, by his name, Razzaq, the one who provides and so forth. That's part of the, the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. There's another question that came in here. Uh, this is a sharia question, but I'm gathering courage to ask it. I enjoy talking to Allah in my own language, just like I will talk with a friend after completing the farida of salah. Is it appropriate to do it inside of salah. Uh, that's from a different uh, different person. The only thing I'd, I, I, I want to make sure that I, I, I really understand because I, I don't know exactly if you are saying if you are saying that in the salah or out of the salah in your sujood you can in your sujood you can make the, the forms of the dua which has has been assigned the Prophet والسلام, the closest position the most humiliated position that we are just we are we are at is the the position of the sujood because that's the most we are saying to Allah that we are just your servants so I don't know exactly what you mean but by like talking to a friend we want to make sure it will not go beyond the tradition and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if what you mean is just like ya Allah I'm I'm I'm, I'm really in need for you and, and ya Allah wallahi I'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a very weak abd. And I, I mean, is, is that what you mean? That's, 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 a, that's a recommended way of dua. And, and that is the way the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did teach. And he made it as the pivot. If that is the way it is, if you call Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala with, 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 with names or titles, as we see from just like uh, other, other sects who have taken the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or the love of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam beyond the perspective that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it as a mean to be rewarded and accepted. We have to be in, 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 in compliance, any righteous deed from the definition of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَمَنْ وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ There is no righteous deeds without a proper intention and without a compliance with the, 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 the same footstep of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the teaching of the Quran in his sunnah. So if you mean, like, all what I want to make sure, like, what do you mean like a friend? If you, if you are gonna, if you are gonna assign for Allah a place, that's a problem. That's not correct. And we can talk about it in details later. If you will assign Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Assalamu alaikum, uh, everyone. I don't know if you can hear me, but it looks like we lost audio connection with uh, Sheikh Hassam. If you are able to hear me, if you can just put it in the chat. Okay, great. So uh, inshallah, if he's able to get back uh, before we wrap up, uh, we'll continue the conversation. But it looks like um, some of the questions have to do with the adab of dua, the etiquettes of making dua and supplication. So maybe inshallah, next Saturday, we can uh, touch on that. But the key point here, as uh, the Sheikh was about to mention, is we have to uh, put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in the right uh, position, which is uh, the, the Lord of the heavens and the earth. There's nothing like him. So when we make dua, one of the etiquettes, we don't want to say something like, oh Allah, give me this and that, uh, if you can or if you will. Uh, we have to make dua with full conviction that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capable of providing us whatever we're asking for, uh, even if it looks or seems to be unrealistic. Uh, and he gave us an example earlier today about the, the sheep and the wolves kind of living in, in harmony. So that's uh, one of the etiquettes of dua is to make a dua with full uh, conviction and full belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept your dua. And of course, it's, of course it's by his will, but we don't want to, to be kind of on the borderline because that's kind of uh, indirectly saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might not be capable of doing something that we perceive as, as impossible. Um, so I'll go back here to see if there are any other questions. You can uh, unmute yourself if you have a question or you can put it in the chat uh, before we wrap up. We'll uh, pause here for a few seconds to see if there are any other questions, inshallah. All right, it looks like uh, Sheikh Hassan is uh, back here online. He's trying to connect. All right, um, are there any other questions that uh, the team, the group here has, uh, would like to, to share? I see there's some people here that join new folks. Uh, if you're uh, out of the DC area, if you don't mind uh, letting us know where you're uh, calling in from, you can put it in the chat box. All right, Sheikh Hassam, are you back with us? Yes. I don't okay. know what happened. Just like it seems that. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So uh, the question was about, uh, yeah, the etiquettes of making dua. So maybe inshallah next Saturday we can talk about etiquettes of supplication. That could be the second uh, tip to get closer to Allah subhanahu can, can wa ta'ala. We, can we make sure that we leave another exercise with the brothers and sisters? Now, today we covered one, uh, which is enough to be covered in a day and, and it can stay for our whole life, which is maintaining the connection with Allah through the salah. We need to feel different about the Salah and we need to start worrying about the Salah and we need to make it the real most important subject in our life, make our whole life, dunya, are around the Salah. We talk about when we meet with one another, we connect it to the Salah. Oh, let's meet after Maghrib. Let's meet after Isha. Let's make sure that we love the Jama'ah. Let's ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who Allah will, will shadow them in his shade. In a day, there is no shade, but his shade. And one of them is a, is a man 
his heart is connected to the to the masajid and another category one of the youth inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is raised in, in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I need each one to come inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala and start it to practice step number one and coming with because it will be the same question I started with after talking about the, the reconciliation with Allah what step you might think of it. And I'm going to give some triggers. Hold yourself accountable before going to your bed. The adhkar. Something practical that will let you in the time of easiness and others. Always connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection wherever you go. Because you are practically connecting yourself with the creator who can control anything. There is no harm. There is no benefit but from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So each one will come inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala with, with one of the tip. That because I can tell you this from now. Some of us might have tips that will, that he, even me personally, I don't know. And he might teach me a tip that will touch my heart than those that I know. Because he, he tested something from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the prophet. Understanding the seriousness of the calamity and the real conviction in the mightness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come with a tip a practical step that you feel it's gonna get you closer to Allah and reconciling and I'm repeating I'm trying again with that one of the best questions that we have received so far from either the brother or the sister and I hope it, it went correctly that no, having having a, 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 a temporary failure or a, a shortage or a, or a gap, it doesn't mean that you, she has used or he has used the word I'm unable. Actually, you are able because shaitan has found some of the light to take out of you. Means you are there and that path will never change. As we said last time, there are three categories. It will be time the nafs will only command you with bad. And another category, the nafs will, will be competing and fighting inside themselves. And it will be al-lawama, the blaming nafs that will have the good and bad. And, and it's, it's a matter of how much you feed in which side. Obedience will feed the, 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 the wellness and goodness. Disobedience or shortage of, or laziness or or ignoring the, 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 the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will feed the other side. Till, as we said, when you, when you go for a, for a good shot on the second path, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look at the heart and make this nafs as a nafs al-mutma'inna, the comfort nafs that will only command its owner with good and forbid it from evil. Till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say exactly what he says in the Quran. Ya ayatuha nafsu al-mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyya. Go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will be really satisfied. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with fadkhuli fi ibadi wa tkhuli jannati and enter jannah as one of the true servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amongst those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with. Jazakallah khairan, Sheikh Haisam. As they say, good times uh, roll out very quickly. So unfortunately, we're going to have to stop here. We're right on time. Inshallah, uh, next week, we will have another uh, lecture, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern. So please uh, join us and stay tuned, inshallah. Uh, we wish everyone a great time. And if you want to close, inshallah, Sheikh Haisam, with a dua. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Allahumma hadina fi man hadayt, wa afina fi man afayt, wa tawallana fi man tawallayt. وبارك لنا يا ربنا فيما أعطيت وقنا يا ربنا واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك إنه لا يذل من وليت ولا يعز من عاديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت لك الحمد ولك الشكر يا الله على ما أنعمت به علينا وأوليت نستغفرك ربنا من كل ذنب وخطيئة ونتوب إليك ونؤمن بك ونتوكل عليك أنت القوي ونحن الضعفاء إليك أنت الغني ونحن الفقراء إليك يا رب استرنا فوق الأرض وتحت الأرض ويوم العرض عليك اللهم ارفع مقتك وغضبك عنا ربنا لا تؤخذنا بما فعل السفهاء منا ربنا لا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا يخافك ولا يخشاك ولا يرحمنا اللهم ولي أمورنا خيارنا ولا تولي أمورنا شررنا 
واختم يا ربنا بالباقيات الصالحات اعملا يا رب ان اردت بعبادك فتنه فاقبضنا اليك مسلمين مؤمنين غير مفتونين ولا فاتنين ولا خزايا ولا نادمين ولا مبدلين يا رب توفنا مسلمين والحقنا بالصالحين ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار اللهم صل على الحبيب محمد في الاولين وصل على الحبيب محمد في الاخرين وصل على الحبيب محمد في الملا الاعلى الى يوم الدين نعوذ بك يا ربنا بكلماتك التامات من شر ما خلق نعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق نعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق بسم الله الذي لا ضر مع اسمه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء السميع البصير بسم الله الذي لا ضر مع اسمه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء السميع البصير بسم الله الذي لا ضر مع اسمه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء وهو السميع البصير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر ان الانسان لفي خسر الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر صدق الله العظيم وبلغ رسوله الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم وجزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته